A lot has happened in the Diddy saga over the course of the week. Let's start from the beginning. On Monday, federal agents for Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's properties, one in LA and one in Miami, and they both happened at the exact same time. And yes, they were equally as dramatic. As a close friend of Jay-Z, what was your reaction to him opening up about his infidelities in uh, the Family Feud uh, video? Yeah. I mean, that's what music gives you the power to do. And I think that... Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. It seems like Diddy isn't planning to face the music alone after Homeland Security searched his homes a few days ago. He's not just talking, he's spilling all the beans, aiming to drag down some fellow rappers, including his old buddy, Jay-Z, into the mess. Reports suggest Diddy is trying to make a deal with Homeland Security to lighten his punishment, claiming he knows all the secrets. This has Jay-Z sweating bullets because he doesn't want the feds digging into his affairs, as he might be more involved with Diddy's shady dealings than we thought. Rumor has it Jay-Z is freaking out because he's afraid the feds will come knocking on his door any minute now. Sit tight, folks, because things just took a wild turn. Just when we were reeling from Homeland Security, busting into Diddy's homes, another jaw-dropping twist hit us like a ton of bricks. While we were still grappling with the gravity of the situation, fresh reports suggest that the raid was just the start of something bigger brewing on the horizon. What's even more mind-boggling is that insiders have spilled the beans, revealing that Diddy isn't even the main target of the feds. Is he being used as a pawn to reel in bigger fish? allegedly involved in a Hollywood trafficking scheme? You might assume that the Homeland Security raid was a sudden move, maybe triggered by Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy last November. But the truth runs deeper than that. The feds have had their sights set on Diddy for over a decade, conducting a clandestine investigation. Back in 2013, the FBI even grilled a high-profile figure, Jimmy Henchman, about Diddy's rumored ties to underage individuals. This raid wasn't some spur-of-the-moment decision. The feds don't pounce unless they have substantial evidence, and it seems they do. But wait, there's a plot twist. Homeland Security wasn't solely after Diddy. Their raid was aimed at squeezing him to spill the beans on other rappers allegedly involved in larger criminal operations. The feds are hunting for the big fish, and everything starts to make sense. While Diddy's sons were caught in the crossfire, Diddy himself managed to evade capture, raising eyebrows. His private jets mysteriously journeyed to the Caribbean without him on board, added fuel to the speculation fire. Was he trying to throw off the feds by diverting attention to Bermuda? Maybe. But his subsequent sightings in Miami quickly went viral, debunking any notions of a great escape. Intriguing, isn't it? Guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. This leads us to ponder why the authorities didn't nab him. According to reports, his sons and two of his aides found themselves in cuffs. But why did the big boss slip through their fingers? Well, word on the street suggests a strategic move by the feds. It seems they're applying pressure on him to spill the beans about other rappers, a deal he's rumored to have agreed to. Word has it we'll witness more commotion in the weeks ahead with heavyweight rappers potentially facing legal heat. And among the names being whispered, Jay-Z stands out. Now, Jay-Z's involvement in this mess might not surprise many fans. After all, he and Diddy have had a close bond for years, sparking rumors about potential shady dealings. The accusations against Jay-Z stretch far back even touching on rumors about his relationship with Beyonce when she might have been underage, casting shadows on his past. And let's not forget the whispers about his ties to Foxy Brown when she was just a teenager, with some sources even alleging he transmitted an STD to her. The spotlight then turns to Tiara Marie, who was signed to Jay-Z's record label when she was just 16 years old. Tiara Marie was on love and hip-hop, but seemingly disappeared from the scene. Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy seems to have opened floodgates in the music industry. A viral blind item has been circulating, claiming that Jay-Z got involved with Tiara Marie when she was underage. Not only that, but when Beyonce reportedly learned about it, Jay allegedly manipulated Tiara's career and blacklisted her from the industry for a decade. Tiara Marie's journey into the music industry echoes Aaliyah's tragic tale. The blind item implies that a significant record producer started making calls about a talented 15-year-old singer, potentially 
Tiara Marie. Label executives aware of her voice and looks intensified their efforts to sign her. Ray J, romantically involved with Tiara, allegedly brought her to Jay-Z's attention, resulting in her signing with Def Jam at the age of 16. However, the blind item suggests that Jay-Z's involvement went beyond mentorship, linking Tiara to a pseudo-corn star and a celebrity sibling known for controlling vulnerable women. Strikingly, Tiara Marie and Ray J publicly dated from 2006, the same year Jay-Z dropped her from his label. The tale takes a poignant turn as it intertwines Jay-Z's alleged actions with the heartbreaking story of Aaliyah. The narrative hints at suspicions surrounding Jay-Z's potential role in Aaliyah's untimely demise, fueled by whispers of jealousy and rivalry. Around the time when Aaliyah died? Yeah. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling? Jam on your horn now, that's... Dame Dash, a central figure in this unfolding drama, adds a critical layer to the narrative. His revelation about Jay-Z's continued collaboration with R. Kelly, despite knowledge of the artist's actions with Aaliyah, raises moral quandaries. Now, he was sending flowers and doing all the shit that nigga, he was courting her. So we were both going hard. And, so we, right. en and we ended up in the same house, 4th, 4th of July. So we were, for some reason, this, this day... Wait I'm a minute, you, Jay, and Aaliyah ended up in the same house? Yeah. The plot thickens as we explore Jay-Z's strategic alliances with influential figures, particularly in the aftermath of Big L's demise. The narrative implies that personal relationships in the industry are kind of the same as chess moves, where allegiances can significantly impact the trajectory of careers. But the revelation doesn't stop there. Jaguar Wright continues her bombshell expose on the entertainment industry, alleging that Jay-Z might have been involved in the mysterious death of rapper Big L. She paints a disturbing picture of an Illuminati sacrifice. Lamont, known personally as Big L, reportedly warned Wright about Jay-Z's malevolent intentions, pointing to an underbelly of the music world where envy and ruthless strategies shape destinies. However, the saga takes an even darker turn as Wright accuses Jay-Z of orchestrating a calculated attack on fellow rapper Benny Siegel. According to her account, Jay-Z not only directed the attack, but also specified aiming for Beanie's lung to hinder his ability to perform. As if the revelations couldn't get more shocking, Wright revisits a troubling incident from three years ago involving Chicago rapper Common. She accuses him of S.A., recounting a disturbing encounter where she claims Common attempted an unspeakable act while she slept. This revelation not only exposes the dark side of personal relationships in the industry, but also serves as a stark reminder that behind the glamour, power dynamics can take a distressing turn. These bombshell revelations leave the industry on edge, awaiting responses from Jay-Z, Common, and others implicated in this intricate web of accusations. The narrative unfolds as a captivating tale of an industry where power dynamics, personal vendettas, and shocking secrets might play a more significant role than anyone could ever have imagined. The stage is set for a dramatic revelation of truths and potential consequences, shaking the foundations of the entertainment world. Interestingly, Jaguar Wright has previously hinted at these allegations when Cassie first filed her lawsuit, suggesting that Jay-Z might even be worse than Diddy, and his secrets would soon be exposed. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. Well, it seems Jaguar's intuition might be spot on once again, as insiders reveal that Jay-Z has been in a state of panic since the raid unfolded. According to one insider, Jay-Z is fretting over the possibility that Diddy might spill the beans. Allegedly, Jay-Z understands the gravity of the situation, realizing that the authorities are after much bigger fish, and Diddy is merely a stepping stone in their pursuit. Reports suggest that Diddy is currently in talks to strike a deal to protect himself while potentially implicating other rappers. Given these developments, it's understandable why Jay-Z might be feeling the heat, especially amidst rumors of marital discord with Beyonce. Speculation abounds that their marriage may be on shaky ground, with divorce looming on the horizon. 
Adding fuel to the fire, 50 Cent recently hinted at trouble brewing for Jay-Z. After news of Diddy's raid surfaced, 50 Cent took to Instagram, posting a picture of Jay-Z with a cryptic caption suggesting imminent trouble. The reactions from fans have been varied, but not altogether sympathetic towards Jay-Z. Many express a lack of surprise at Diddy's predicament, speculating that Jay-Z could be next in line for scrutiny. Some even cite Cat Williams' previous remarks about the entertainment industry, suggesting a potential downfall for both Diddy and Jay-Z. All of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes. The looming question now is whether Diddy will indeed turn on Jay-Z, breaching the unwritten code of loyalty among peers, or if he will choose to uphold the bro code. It's a contentious topic sparking debates among fans, eagerly awaiting further developments in this unfolding saga. One fan even said, Diddy is going to jail, so he better try to make a deal on the time he's going to do. Anyone who messes with underage boys or girls, or both, should go down, period. But what do you think about this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. And while we eagerly await further developments, be sure to check out our other videos for a dose of the latest entertainment gossip.